Hello, I'm Kurt Landry here. This has really been an interesting day. I had two video assignments that I was supposed to get done for a future project, and uh, I didn't get those done. And I had some very interesting conversations with some prophetic friends and people that uh, were very encouraging. <clears throat> but one of the things that's happened to me today is a friend sent me a scripture, and what it did is it triggered he sent me a scripture and it triggered a prophetic uh, trigger in me, so to say, and I just started to, to meditate on it. And so this afternoon and this evening, I was just going to go ahead and film the two programs that my uh, staff has asked me to film. And I, literally, I, I'm starting into them and, and I, I just can't get them done right now. I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow because this word that the Lord has given me is stirring in me, and, and I'm going to bring this word, and also we're going to pray together with it, because it's very hopeful. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and get that off my plate. I probably should have uh, gotten on live with it earlier, but uh, anyway, it's just one of those things that when you get it, it's that Jeremiah, you get those fire in your bones, the fire comes and you, the only way to get rid of it is to deliver it. So I'm going to go ahead and share it with you. And I know this is kind of an awkward time at six o'clock right before dinner. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and share it with you. And I hope that it blesses you as much as it blessed me to, to receive it. So Father God, we just thank you so much for this word. We ask, Lord, that you anoint us now to, to be able to hear this word, receive this word, and literally pray it into... Uh, into uh, an action. We want to apply it. We want to change with it, but we want to transform into your likeness, but we also want to speak it into the atmosphere in Yeshua's name. Amen. So I had a friend, uh, he's a pastor. He sent me this word, Jeremiah chapter one, verse 17 and through 19. And so we'll start there and we'll go into this word. Prophet Jeremiah says, under the spirit of the Lord. Therefore, prepare yourselves to arise and speak to them that I commanded you and do not be dismayed before their faces, lest I dismay, dismay you before them. And it's so interesting because the Lord has been giving me a series of, of prophetic words for the fall feast because right now we're in this season of Tishbiav, but I'm actually already preparing for Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and the Feast of Tabernacles. So I'm, I'm preparing for the last quarter of the year. And with all this disruption, you know, I'm saying, Lord, what, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? So I'm getting all these pretty clear downloads about what I'm supposed to do at House of David for the Fall Feast. You know, are we open, not open? All these different decisions and everything else. And yes, we will be open and uh, you will be able Able to have an online experience, but you'll also be able to join us at House of David for the fall feast. So I'll go ahead and plan on it because we're going to be open and we're going to be there. And uh, so, uh, so the Lord showed this to me and he, he's given me words to lead up to prepare you for these, this most critical fall feast. And so then my, my pastor friend sends me this and he says, I want you to arise and I want you to speak. And he says, and if you don't speak, I'm going to be dismayed with you. So I, Lord, I don't want to disappoint you. So here I am speaking and I'm sharing it with you, but we're actually going to prophesy and speak it into existence uh, this afternoon here. So he says, behold, I have made you this day. And I really believe this is a word of the Lord for the United States of America. And I know it's a word for Israel at this time. So I will say it's for Israel and the United States. And this is what he says. I made you a fortified city and you have iron pillars and bronze walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes, against the priests, against the people of the land. They will fight against you. I promise you the Lord was showing me. He says, he says these attacks coming from Antifa and Black Lives Matters and these other uh, anarchist groups, he says they will continue to fight against you. He says it's not gonna stop. They're gonna continue to fight, but this is what he says, but, you, but they shall not prevail against you. For I am with you, says the Lord of hosts, to deliver you. So as we press into the Lord, we stand for the Lord, we speak for the Lord, and, and we become the witness for the Lord. The Lord says, yes, they will attack, 
but ignore the attack, stay strong in the Lord, and the Lord says he will deliver us. He's gonna deliver Israel from this COVID and all this disruption and not being able to have tour groups come and they're gonna be supernaturally delivered. And the United States has been called in this hour and this na nation has been created to stand with Israel. And the Lord says that he is going to divinely uh, uh, intervene and we will prevail and be victorious. And I mean, it just hit me like it's great, like, oh, praise the Lord for that. So I asked the Lord, I said, <clears throat> give me a strategic prayer. This is how I operate. Give me scripture that I can strategically pray in regards to this word. If we're gonna prevail, what words do we need to go into the war room right now in, in the courts of heaven? If we're gonna go into the war room, how do we pray? And so that's what we're gonna do right now. And the Lord has given me Isaiah 61 for the prayer and the strategy. So go ahead and get, I'm drinking a little water here. You get ready and we're gonna pray. If you're gonna pray with me, go into the comments, say, yes, I'm praying, I'm agreeing, I'm believing. Praise God for the victory. Praise God for the shift. <coughs> and praise God for the relief. <laughs> Ever since this COVID thing, every time I cough, I think, oh man, look at, he's got the COVID. <laughs> so it's like, no, this is my allergy season and I live in Oklahoma and believe me, this is the time where the grasses come to get us, I pray, get healed from that in Jesus' name, amen. But this is what we're gonna pray. Father God, we just thank you so much. Lord, we put on the full armor of God this evening in celebration. Lord, we gird our loins with truth. We prepare our feet with the gospel. Lord, our righteousness and our breastplate is in you and you alone. Father God, we put on the helmet of our salvation. Thank you, Father God. We quench every fiery dart of doubt and unbelief coming against our words with our shield of faith. And we take the sword of the spirit now, according to your words, and we put you into remembrance of your words, holy God. Thank you, Lord, that you're the just judge of the court of mercy. And now, Lord, we go into the war room and let the arrows of these words, Lord, hit their target and let the angels of the Lord hearken unto these words. And Lord, thank you, Father God, that these words of ancient of day spoken through your prophet Isaiah are as effective today. They are sharper than two-edged sword. Thank you, Lord, Father God, they will go out into the atmosphere they will deliver because you are a covenant God and your word says in Numbers, you are not a man that you should lie and we give you praise for that. So these are the words that Jesus spoke when he stood up in the synagogue and they opened the scrolls and these are the words that he spoke. That was his assignment that day in the synagogue and Father God, we are going to bring it into the power of your anointing today in Yeshua's name. And the word of God says, as we agree, say amen. Go ahead in the comments, say, I agree. And the spirit of the Lord, the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has appointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to proclaim liberty to the captives and to open the prison to those who are bound and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Father God, I proclaim that biblical year 5780, 2020 is the acceptable year of the Lord. It is the first year of the pay to speak. And Father God, we speak to the mountains of influence. We speak to the mountains of problems that are ahead of us. We speak to the mountains that are in front of us and we say, become flat as a plain and let the word of God come and create a pathway in the wilderness. And we proclaim and decree that 5780, even in the midst of this Tishbiah season is the acceptable year of the Lord. And Father God, we thank you for cleansing the swamp. We thank you for cleansing the land, cleansing the governments and the businesses and cleansing our own souls. Thank you, Lord, for your cleansing power. And in your cleansing, Lord, remember mercy and remember grace. And thank you, Lord, that your word says that we proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, but it's also the day of the vengeance of our God to comfort those who mourn 
to console those who mourn in Zion, who give them beauty for ashes, oil for joy in the morning, a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called the trees of righteousness, a planting of the Lord, that they may be glorified. Thank you, Father God, in our call center. We have received an abundant calls, Lord, of people who are thinking about and entertaining suicide. Lord, I thank you that they called. I thank you that they will be delivered from the spirit of death. I thank you that, Lord, we take off that garment of heaviness that, that's trying to cause them to take their lives and we release the spirit of joy and the mantle of hope and the mantle of love and the power of the gospel of the good news upon them and all that are listening. Thank you, Lord, that you are anointing these who feel like dying. Lord, you're anointing them with life. I speak life. I speak Holy Spirit. I speak fire over you because you have a job to do because the word says that in this year that we are qualified, it says, and they shall rebuild the old ruins. They shall rise up in the former, the former desolations and they shall repair the ruined cities and the desolation of many generations. Speaking of Israel, it says, strangers, non-Jews shall stand with them and feed their flocks, which you are doing with our Holocaust of survivors and our safe house kids and our soldiers and the sons of foreigners shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers you shall be named the priest of the lord you are named you are kings and priests according to the order of melchizedek you are on fire for the lord you are more than conquerors you have a dominion mandate god created you in his image not satan's image you are not a mistake you may have been born out of wedlock you may be conceived from a rape, but I can tell you this, the seed is in control of the God who creates the seed and God creates no junk. He created you. He saved you. He chose you. He's anointed you to be a king and priest according to Melchizedek. And it says, you shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. It means those without God. Lord, we call forth the transfer of wealth now. Transfer it to the righteous. Transfer it to the churches. Lord, I command that your churches in Yeshua's name become the house of prayer for all nations. I thank you, Lord, no government, no governors, no senators, no congressmen, not even the president. No one can shut down. No one has the right to shut the doors of a church of God because the God's house is a God's house of prayer and it's for all nations. And thank you, Lord, our door shall not be shut. Thank you, Lord, let the power of the Holy Spirit and the fire of God exercise the separation of church and state that we might do our job. I decree over the church of Jesus Christ, of Yeshua our Messiah, we are essential. You are essential. You house the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are the kingdom of God. You are the where God visits the earth is through the churches. And Father God, we decree that they shall be holy and remain open in Yeshua's name. Thank you, Lord, that you shall eat the riches of the, of the Gentiles and the glory shall be their, their boast. Instead of shame, you will have double honor. Thank you, Lord. You're essential, you're essential, you're essential. And I release double honor. And instead of confusion, you shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, the land shall possess double. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. Lord, I decree and declare right now that the joy of the Lord shall be our strength. We will not focus on the negative. We will quit counting numbers. Obviously, with the more testing, the numbers go up. It's not bad news. The death rate is going down. The contagion rates are going down. And thank you, Lord Father God, that this fear mongering that has been, been hijacked in this COVID-19 hoax is, Lord, is canceled now in Yeshua's name. Lord, let real numbers and real hope and, and, and thank you, Lord, for healing and bringing healing to all all the nations who are listening to this prayer in Yeshua's name. And instead of confusion, we will rejoice in our portion. And Lord, thank you, Lord, the double portion be released to us now. For your word says, for I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and burn off from burnt offerings. I direct their work in truth, and I will make them make with them an everlasting covenant. Thank you, Father God. We enforce all nine covenants that are biblical, that were fulfilled and 
accelerated by the blood of Jesus in the final new covenant. Thank you, Lord. We are the seed of Abraham by faith. And Lord, we thank you for the nine blessings of Passover that we had this year. And we thank you that all provision, perfection, uh, protection and divisions and, and provisions are released to us now in Yeshua's name. We contend with you, Lord. We put you into remembrance of your word. Thank you, Lord. Your word says their descendants shall be known amongst the Gentiles and their offspring amongst the people. And you will see them and shall acknowledge them. And they are the prosperity of whom the Lord has blessed. Father God, I release an anointing to prosper. I release an anointing of double favor in Yeshua's name. All those in the seven mountains of influence, may you arise to the top with the anointing of words of knowledge and prophecy and knowledge. May you arise to the top. Arise now. Get out of your discouragement. Get out of your fear. Get out of your doubt. For the best is yet to come. For the intervention of the Lord has come. And we speak it out now in Yeshua's name. And our job is verse 10. And I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul will be joyful to my God. For he has clothed me with the garment of salvation. I praise the Lord for Jesus Christ and the salvation of the cross. I thank you, Lord, that my, my sin has been expunged. I thank you, Lord, when I didn't want you, you wanted me. Lord, I thank you, Lord, when I was buried in sin, you buried my sin. I thank you, Lord, when I wasn't chosen that you chose me. You anointed me. You called me. And Lord, I thank you and I will give you praise. And the word says, and he had covered me with a robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments and the bride adorns himself with jewels. For the earth brings forth the bud and the garden causes their things that are sown to spring forth. So the Lord God will cause the righteousness and the praise to spring forth before all the nations. I cancel this assignment of saying you cannot sing in church in California. I cancel it in Jesus' name. It is unconstitutional. It's, in, it's not moral. And you have no authority to tell people that we cannot praise God in the church. Thank you, Lord Father God. Let the praises double now. Let all the time that has been stolen from the church not being able to fellowship and sing and praise, Lord, the weeks and the months, Father God. Let it be returned double seven times that the portals of God might arise with the fire and the singing of God and that the angels might ascend and descend, taking the praises of God, breaking the strongholds off this nation. I decree over the United States of America that you will arise and shine for the best days have yet to come. For Zion's sake, I will not hold my peace, the Lord says. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until her righteousness goes forth in brightness and her salvation a lamp that burns and father god let the fire of, of god burn in this hour let it burn in you that's watching let it burn in you that is watching let it burn in you the fire of god let the intercessors arrive let the preachers arise and preach truth i bind all fear off the preachers i cast it into the lake of fire where it to where it was defeated 2,000 years ago by Yeshua. He took hell, death, and the grave. He took the keys back. You have the authority. Jesus said, I have given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and to destroy all the works of the enemy. So arise and shine and let our enemies be scattered. Thank you, Lord. Arise and let the light come. Let the glory of the Lord rise upon us. And behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, deep darkness, the people. But the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. Say right now, go in the comments and say, I receive the Lord's glory. Say, I receive the Lord's glory. Thank you, Lord, for this prayer of hope. Thank you for this word of hope. Thank you, Lord, for this, for this blessing of hope. Thank you, Lord, Father God, that, Lord, we are literally beating our swords into plowshares. Thank you, Lord, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Prepare us for harvest. Prepare us for promotion. Prepare us for freedom. Prepare us for liberty. Prepare us for justice. And thank you, Lord. You have not forgotten the United States of America. May God bless America. And may we never forget to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. May they have peace within their palaces. And may we say, for our brethren's sake, Shabbat Shalom, Yerushalayim. God bless you. 
I'll see you tomorrow night. And I'll be speaking to you tomorrow night about battling in the opposite spirit to release your inheritance and an update with for Israel. 7 p.m. Central. I'll see you tomorrow night. Shalom.